Everybody put your card up. Everybody put your library card up. What? Everybody put your card up. Everybody put your library card up. What? Everybody put your card up. Undercover operations, it's not uncommon for potential predators to appear hesitant about walking in the door. He's trying to wave her out to the street. No way. But we've never seen anyone like this man. He's bringing his car all the way back, guys. He pulls in around back and starts asking the decoy, our actress playing a young teen, to come outside. No, you come here. It's almost four o'clock in the morning when 44-year-old Thomas Moffat, screen name Moff 1960, pulls up to our house. He's a maintenance engineer for the Boca Raton Resort, a married man with three children. He drove more than two hours to meet a girl named Tony who said she was 15. Really, it's a decoy from perverted justice. I'm trying to hit on you and you're laughing at me? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Am I freaking you out? Why would you freak me out? Because I'm 44 and I'm hitting on you. So would you ever fool around with an old guy like me? Once they set up an actual date to meet at her house, Moff 1960 makes his plans very clear. Okay, how about after I come in, I'll strip. <laughs> For reals? Sure, if you want me to. You're kidding me. Nope. You can take your clothes off in the laundry room if you want to. He finally gets out of his car, but won't come any closer than the back step. You said you were going to do something for me in the laundry room. Were you lying to me? Mm -hmm. Are you going to back out on me? Because mm -hmm. that's what I feel like you're going to do now. Cautious. Moff 1960 senses something different about the girl in the house. Can you come here, please? I'm right here. Please? In fact, something is different. Our actress is not actually the decoy who sent Moff 1960 a photograph of herself and spoke to him on the phone. That was a member of Perverted Justice. You haven't acted this way when we've talked before. Oh, really? Well, talking in person is a little different than talking online. And you don't sound the same on, in person as you did on the phone. Well... Oh, your picture looks different, too. This odd conversation goes on for half an hour. At one point, he tells her to show him proof that she is who she says she is. Get your library card. He paces outside, peeking in the window. When the decoy comes back without her library card, he tries to convince her to get in his car and go to Walgreens. Where's the Walgreens at? This is ridiculous. I'm going to bed. Okay. As we told you earlier, Fort Myers police officers are staked out in the guest house. So as the man tries to get in his car, get out! Get down! He's arrested. Get down! Put your hands behind your back! So we never get to tell him he's going to be on Dateline.